How you guys doing today? This is Derek House from DHFDNS.com and today I'm going to show you guys my slow cooked sriracha chicken soup recipe. So let's get to it. Take out your slow cooker and then 3 pounds or 48 ounces of chicken breast, trim the fat off of them and then cut them in half. Add your chicken into the slow cooker. If you don't have a slow cooker, it is one of the better investments for your kitchen. I will post a link in the description below to the exact one that I'm using. It's only around $30 shipped. Next, we're going to add in 2 cups or 256 grams of carrots. You can either use the baby carrots or peel and chop your carrots like I'm going to do. Once you peel and chop your carrots, add them in. Chop up one and a half cups or 180 grams of celery. Add in your chopped celery. Two teaspoons of minced garlic or four cloves of regular garlic. Take out and chop up one medium red onion. Add in your chopped red onion. One teaspoon of black pepper. Two teaspoons of parsley. 2 teaspoons of basil, 4 cups or 32 ounces of a low sodium chicken broth, 2 tablespoons of the lowest sodium soy sauce you can find, 3 tablespoons of olive oil, 10 teaspoons or 50 grams of sriracha, 2 cups or 16 ounces of water, and last, one packet or cube of a sodium-free chicken bouillon. Go ahead now and mix everything around. Put your cover on and then turn your slow cooker on low for five to six hours. After five to six hours, take your cover off and we're just gonna shred our chicken. There's two ways you can shred your chicken. One, while it's still in the slow cooker, find your chicken with your forks and just pull apart. Or two, put your chicken breast on a plate and then pull it apart with your forks while it's still in the plate. If you've cooked it long enough, it should just fall apart. Put your shredded chicken back in and repeat until you've shredded all of your chicken breasts. Once you've shredded all your chicken, put your cover back on and then cook for an additional one to two hours on low heat. After another hour or two, it should be done, so turn your slow cooker off. And there is your sriracha chicken soup. If you want an egg noodle soup, most stores will sell these whole wheat egg noodles. And what you can do is either add them to your slow cooker about 20 minutes before it's finished cooking, which I don't recommend because if you don't eat them that day, they'll end up getting soggy. Or what I recommend to do is just make them that day on the stovetop and then add them in once you heat up your soup. As you guys saw, the soup is done. So now I'm just gonna try a bite. Tons and tons of flavor in this recipe. It's got just enough heat to it. I don't like really hot things and this is just hot enough. The chicken just kind of falls apart in your mouth. If it's cold outside and you're trying to warm up or just get rid of a cold, this will do it. All right guys, I just want to thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can click right there on the screen coming up. By subscribing, you'll get an email every week telling you I upload a new video. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got some soup to finish. Stay healthy.